Okay, it's Jason here again with another video for EEM 171 codes of installation. And what we're looking at here is we're going to be talking about the parts of a receptacle, a duplex receptacle. One of the first uh, devices we'll discuss in class. And just want to sh actually show you and point out the different parts of it. Okay, so this is called the duplex receptacle. You also hear it referred to it as an outlet, okay? And the reason it's called duplex is because you do have two receptacles in this device, okay? So in one location in a box, you have two connections to plug any type of appliance into that, okay? So what we're going to do here is just look at the different parts of this device. Okay, so first we'll talk about the receptacle itself and these slots and what they actually connect to. Okay, so the slots here on the left side are the neutral connections. Okay, and you'll notice they're a little bit longer than the ones on the right side. Okay, so these two over here are to connect to neutral. The shorter slots to the right side are to connect to the hot. Okay, so that's your actual hot connections. Okay, so this is polarized so that you plug in the device the right way. The rounded slot here at the bottom of the two is your ground slot. So any device that has an actual earth ground connection that's what this slot here is for. Okay. So we'll look at the connections of how this actually wires up. If you look on the left side, you have two silver screws. Okay. And the color there is important to remember. So silver is where your neutral wires connect. Okay. So you have two of those so that if you need to connect multiple devices you can so one would be from your neutral coming in from your panel box the other one to go to the next device okay so the silver screws are for your neutral connections okay and also you'll notice this tab here okay and that actually bridges the two together that's what actually connects the two screws together Okay, you also have green screw down here at the bottom, and that is for your ground. Okay, so that's where you'll attach your ground wire to. Now, there's only one of those, so if you have multiple ground wires, you'll have to twist those together to make that ground connection. And I'll show you how to do that in a later video. On the other side, you have two brass colored screws okay or some say gold colored and those are for your hot wires okay again one from your power coming in and one if you need to go out to another device again you have the tab here which connects the two together okay and that tab is important if we wanted to actually split this device and we'll talk about the split receptacle circuit a little bit here so if you wanted to have part of this hot all the time and another part of it switched controlled by some switch to plug in say a lamp or something that we could control we can break this tab here and isolate the two hots okay to do a split receptacle so that tab is what connects these and if we wanted to split it we can just break that tab off okay some of the other parts here these metal tabs here top and bottom okay are your breakaway tabs also referred to as plaster ears okay and that's what actually holds the receptacle flush to um, the wall Okay, against say sheetrock okay to mount it there where it's flush with the wall if we were using this device in a conduit application 
the plates for conduit are different they're designed differently and we would actually have to break these connections off for it to fit in there okay the two holes here which normally have screws in them this one does not are actually your mounting screws to mount it to the box and the hole in the middle is for the screw to put your faceplate on there okay see the screw there that's what that's for okay so if we wanted to do multiple ones of these again we would come in with our power here our hot and our neutral come out of these two run to our next box and then come into the top screws on that one so for the receptacle circuit you would just use 14-2 wire okay that's all you need hot neutral and ground connections okay and I'll show you a demonstration of that with the actual project boards that we'll be doing in a, another video okay but that's all for now